Eleven, a Weymouth mother has now twice given her son the gift of life. This time, she saved him. WBZ's Julie McDonald first brought us this story months ago, and tonight she shares a heartwarming update. Grateful goodbyes echoed the hallways inside Boston Children's Hospital. Healthcare heroes sending the school auntie family home to Weymouth. He's healthy and he can kind of start his like life almost. That's something to smile about. WBZ introduced you back in March. Little Steve, his skin so yellow, really needed a healthy liver to fight biliary atresia. Do I get something? What do I get? Oh, thank you. But these days, the parents are getting many more sweet Steve smiles, all thanks to what mom Shannon gave. I was the perfect match. Every mother knows the feeling of wanting to give your baby the world. And in a way, this one did. This month, the school auntie celebrated a successful liver transplant. Steve woke up a healthy color and ready to play. I could just tell his body must have just felt so much better, even though he just had a major surgery. At home, he's just laughing so much more. Like, so it just makes you think of how, how bad he felt before. And it's just like now he's just like so happy and just like full of energy. Our first interview was socially distant in the driveway, and we caught up by Zoom as transplant recovery continues. But after nearly two years in quarantine, this couple is ready for joy, seeing the light of their life start to really live his. We're still a few weeks, months away from that, but just him being able to go to a playground, just play and interact is, yeah. you know, it's going to make me so happy. I'm going to be, you know, so teary. It's going to be unbelievable. In Weymouth, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Wow. All the joys that they are now going to be able to experience with him. I love not just the excitement on little Steve's face, but the parents had so much energy. You could see they're so happy to know that their baby is healthy now. Ah, glad to be able to bring you that Great story. Great story by Julie.